If you've ever played with CSS anchor positioning, you may have noticed one glaring feature gap, and that is the ability to actually style your anchors when they change position. One really cool thing about CSS anchor positioning is the ability to reposition your element using position try fallbacks. So you can either have an explicit position try statement that you are specifying like this, or you can use flip block or flip inline that the browser provides. But what you can't do is apply styles to the anchored element. So if you wanted to change a border or a restyle the arrow, if you wanted to create like a little arrow that points to the anchor, you can't do that. A way that I envisioned this happening when we were first discussing anchor positioning um, to ship it was by leveraging this functionality of container queries. So we've really expanded on that. We have container queries, style queries. We now have scroll state queries. So I envision this fallback um, query where you can specify the state that it's in, which of those fallback positions, and then apply styles. And this is now becoming a reality. Runa on our team is working on this. It is a part of the CSS anchor position two spec. So it was moved to the level two spec. Um, and here is a first look at how it works. I just started playing with this about five minutes ago. It's in Canary if you want to try it out. So first we would set up our fallback position. So in this case, there's an explicit one called foo. And we're shifting from position area left to bottom center. Then what we have to do is set a container type. So similar to other container query types, this one is called anchored. Now what we can do is use an at container and use anchored as that functional selector where we are anchoring to the fallback of foo. And you can also use the browser defaults too, like flip inline, flip block. Then we can apply styles to the thing that is being anchored. So let's see what this looks like in an example. Um, here I have a bunch of these tooltips, and then if you scroll, we're repositioning this tooltip to not be on top, but to be on the bottom. And one thing to note too is that when it's on top, the arrow is on the bottom and it's pointing to the anchor. When it's on the bottom, its arrow is on top. So we need to apply styles to reposition this. So first we're going to set the container type of anchored on the actual tooltip. That is this um, black box with the arrow. Um, here we have the position area of top and then we're using position try fallback flip block. So that's the logic that's telling the um, browser to flip it when we scroll past. And it's also gonna save that state too until I open a new one. Um, so we have that set up, we have container type anchored, and now I can use a container query here. So at container anchored, I'm looking for flip block. So when it is in the flip block state, when it's in this state, I'm going to restyle the arrow. So this is all happening in this before pseudo element. This is where the arrow is. I'm using the CSS border triangle um, sort of hack to create this uh, triangle arrow. I don't even know if this is a hack at this point. This is how people do it. Um, but I'm using border color, uh, transparent for the whole thing. And then on top, when this is up here, I'm setting it to black. So it's kind of what's applying those styles and then giving it the size. So when I want this to appear on the bottom, I'm restyling that. I'm setting the border top color to transparent and the border bottom color to black. So it flips the arrow. And then I'm also repositioning it um, using bottom and top. So it's positioned here and then there, bam, bam. Uh, this is really cool to see. Again, I just played with this for the first time like five minutes ago. So I'm looking forward to making more demos. Um, if you have thoughts, you could definitely check out the open issues. There's two of them, um, 12390 and 12391. Um, but I just wanna give you a little first look at this feature and this repositioning logic, which is, ugh, I'm so glad that it's finally coming. All right, that's all, bye.